Captain John F. Manning Jr. and I ended up uh, going to Air Wing 8. So I was relieved in uh, probably September of uh, 88 or 89 I guess, 88, September of 88 <clears throat> and then I, uh, I went, I had already during my t time at Fighter Wing, I had gone and uh, gotten an ATOPS call on the A6, which is right there at Oceana, but no CQ. And then I went to Cecil Field for about uh, six, eight weeks to check out the Hornet. And I did day night CQ on the Hornet. And, uh, and then came back at the end of December and uh, uh, relieved. Uh, Joe Prayer is CAG-8, and, uh, and it was in, or I think it was roughly early in December, and then uh, we were scheduled to deploy uh, at the end of the month. And uh, so we, uh, I remember uh, the ship got underway, uh, it was Theodore Roosevelt, sometime around uh, December 28th or 29th, and uh, right after Christmas, because I remember uh, Night Sea Cune and the F-14 on New Year's Eve uh, out in the Virginia Capes, and uh, but uh, and, the, and the water's cold, and so you're wearing a survival suit and all that kind of stuff, but uh, we finished Sea Cune in the air wing and uh, headed east, and we were back into the Mediterranean again, and, uh, and uh, that, uh, the TR at that time for her first deployment, had a unique air wing which we never, never uh, fielded again. You know, it had 20 F-14s, 20 F-18s, and 20 uh, A-6s, and uh, and then it had uh, E-2s, E-A-6Bs, and uh, S-3s, and uh, the helicopters, and the S-3s we had on that air. We had, I think we had four or five airplanes modified, and they were the first S-3s. They were able to do in-flight refueling. They were able to be tankers, and again, that was a, a very big plus. And it, it actually gave the S3 a pretty good mission. And uh, and uh, that that deployment, I think, as I recall, I, I don't remember anything exciting on it other than uh, you know the, the, we just operated quite a bit, had some regular port visits, uh, spent a lot of time in, in the East Med, and. Uh, but uh, did did have regular visits, and I'd have to go back and look at some of the details. But I don't remember enough. And then shortly after that deployment, we came home and get started the workup cycle for the air wing. And uh, and so in uh, 